down on that one, see what you can find. Really, this was our first year with the peas, and uh, mm -hmm. we feel like we were getting some good, good benefit there from the nodules that are on the. Uh, well, there's some right there. A few lighter ones. They may have already starting to break down with since we've killed the peas. They're starting to break down there, some right there. Hmm. Some nitrogen. But that's been our biggest thing is just to uh, anytime we can build the build the land by cover crop with uh, whatever it may be, uh, seems to be helping us a lot here in the, on our soil types. Okay, uh, basically we were. Uh, building our cover, building our organic matter, and uh, hoping to pick up maybe some nitrogen from the peas. I uh, don't know, know the pounds we may get, but uh, I know vetch does a lot, but vetch we have to wait longer to plant in before we can get the, the uh, benefit of the nitrogen out of the vetch. It's usually a month, first of May, uh, before the vetch really puts the nitrogen back into the soil, but the peas are much quicker on releasing, I think, and we're able to plant in it sooner. Well, as with any, any of the fields where we plant a, a good heavy cover, you know, we're just benefiting from the radishes and the, the uh, nitrogen benefit from the peas that'll, that it'll build up into the land, the nodules that we, that, that get on the peas roots as uh, right before we kill the first of April and plant. We do benefit with nitrogen there, mm -hmm. we feel like.